I know, right? I know what you're thinking. There are four spots there, but only three beacons. And that's making you crazy. <laughs> what you gonna do about it, huh? What you gonna do? <laughs> Welcome, guys, to the episode number three of Cass on the Red Cloud server. So, I have a bunch of stuff to show you today, and also we are finally going to reveal uh, who is our first donor for the Infinite Bridge project. Yeah. Uh, before anything, I want uh, to, to welcome uh, more than 200 new subscribers uh, that are here mostly because of the Infinite Bridge project and yeah guys, I'm working a lot on it, on it. so before uh, even showing you uh, what's the progress report on it, I'm going to show you a, a bit about my base because I have done something, some new stuff here. So guys, next time you check it, uh, we didn't have this column, uh, it's here because I moved the pyramid from there inside the floor. And also we have some ceiling here uh, under construction, of course. And I started work on the second floor as well. Uh, I added this platform here and also this glass platform here. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about not removing those cocoa beans. I don't know, it's good as decoration. What do you think? Looks nice. And also, uh, I'm thinking about that because I'm pretty much done with uh, growing cocoa beans because uh, I already have enough to to craft my glass uh, brown <laughs> glass brown stained glass blocks that I'm going to use to replace those torches on the floor down there, so we can have a much better uh, lighting system there. You're going to see it's it's really nice. Also, I'm not sure if I should continue this pillar here and I also know that it's not a pillar because of Thales, thank you man. Um, well, so this is basically it for the second floor, I still need to make the, the walls for this so it's going to be a lot of work still, but finally I got to do it and also I, I added this water feature here guys, what do you think about it? I also don't know if you have if you have noticed that there is another water feature there at the opposite corner. And other than that, those new things, uh, everything's pretty much a mess here because it's uh, yeah almost exactly the way I started the server. But I'm taking care of the storage situation. As you can see here, I built this sort of uh, safe storage, and yeah, it's really cool. Uh, I'm getting a bit of lag uh, on the server now, but I'm, uh, I think you can see some animation and I can open it individual compartments here. So here I have my ores and here my enchanted books, but maybe I will change it because uh, I have some storage for enchanted books in the end, so yeah. Maybe I don't need them here. Also, uh, we are missing some uh, item frames here. So here is my nether uh, chest and my uh, iron chest. <laughs> we don't have much iron because we don't have an iron farm anymore. And finally, the one that I love the most, which is my redstone and redstone related stuff uh, storage. So yeah. Uh, little by little I'm changing the place, lots of things have been done here and also this is a nice uh, staircase here, this is going to take us to the bridge in a sec but before I want to ask you guys if you know any good designs for trapdoors or hidden staircases, I'm thinking about using some some sort of seamless staircase here, don't know exactly which type, maybe two or three uh, three wide, I'm not sure. It, if it was three wide it would be nice because I have a design for a three by three door that I could uh, place here, but yeah, I'm not sure yet. And finally guys, here mm, we have the main entrance for our bridge. And also I think that before I show you this, I should uh, take advantage of the fact that I'm alone on the server now and make it day. Well guys, I think it's much better now. 
so I think we are ready to finally enter the bridge and guys welcome to the infinite bridge yeah and this is the first section of the bridge and I decided uh, to make it not exactly for a donor but to, to dedicate it to a, a few people and those are described here so uh, first of all I want to dedicate this first section of the bridge to my subscribers so guys this project is all about you and me our relationship I, I love so much this channel I never thought that I would like so much to do YouTube and I want to, to keep doing it so thank you very much for motivating me and also I want to thank uh, all the members of the Red Cloud server so yeah we play here together and those guys are are being really supportive uh, with this project so thank you very much as well guys and finally the minecraft community and i'm talking about everyone that plays and also all the youtubers that inspire us my, my channel uh, itself started because uh, i was inspired by other youtubers i, I wanted to make uh, cool things like they do so I want to thank the Minecraft community uh, for that and for making this awesome game. So this is the first section, this is for you guys and now we are going to enter the official section of our first donor and it actually starts here on this line but I haven't found a cool way to, to delimit this just yet but maybe you guys can suggest me something cool to, just to show it and if we go upstairs now we are ready to place a sign here with the name of our very general's first donor and his name is Unary Bit. Yes, so uh, you guys might have already heard of him and I hope so, but if not, don't worry because we are going to talk a lot about him for now. So, um, before we walk through the bridge uh, which is like 95% ready, you will, you will see why. Uh, I'm going to show you um, some footage of me building it, a uh, time lapse. Unfortunately, I could not make the time lapse using a, a third person. Yes, I, I had to use only a first person for the time lapse, but I already have uh, a possible solution for this. And in the next sections, uh, your guys are probably going to have the time lapses in third person, all right? So while we watch this footage, uh, we can also talk a little bit about Unary Bit, <laughs> so you guys can know more about him, all right? So let's go. Welcome to Unary Bits channel, guys. Yeah, um, I am subscribed actually to Unary Bit for uh, a long time, I think so. And I actually had already the pleasure of uh, recording one video with him. It was actually on Graphonix uh, 1000 subscribers uh, celebration and you were uh, seeing some uh, footage of that uh, moment now. <laughs> and well, coming back to his page, you will notice that I have some recently watched videos, yes. And I want to talk about a little bit uh, of, it, of those videos because uh, they are absolutely amazing guys. Uh, Unary Beat doesn't have many videos but he likes to do epic stuff. So the first video that I want to comment is this one, the, um, the simple infinite breeder created by him and this is in my opinion an absolutely awesome design. He uses a lot of good ideas all compressed in one single machine so it has uh, the, the, the functionality of keeping all the villagers close together so they will breed more frequently also when they make a baby villager it, uh, the baby will be immediately repelled by the amount of mobs that are inside uh, the, the, the breeder 
and also they get inside a, a small chamber with so sand on the floor which is if you don't know a uh, nose trick uh, that prevents mobs from walking back inside the the breeding chamber so they will stay there until they become adults and then they they finally will grow up in, with their heads inside the water and will automatically swim up and this mechanism is absolutely amazing I, I think that he's going to change a lot of this uh, for Minecraft 1.8 but it doesn't make it any less uh, amazing if you uh, check that out so uh, the second video I want to talk about is this one uh, going through the nether ceiling with minecarts which is a really really great idea so you don't even need ender pearls to um, to go from the ceiling or to the roof of the, the nether and actually this project is amazing because it's not only simple uh, he's going to actually use this project in the next project that he's working on currently so I don't know if you are watching this video now maybe um, he had already published it so make sure to check that out too um, also uh, I want to talk about uh, this project here the Enderman XP farm with snow golem and light funnel so uh, this is something that you probably aren't going to, to find anywhere else uh, since uh, I think Panda4994 created his uh, piston pusher design for Enderman farms which is absolutely efficient uh, everybody does the same design so uh, Unerbit is the kind of person that likes to think out of the box so he designed a completely different system with large platforms uh, that are actually uh, seem like uh, it's easy to build. I haven't tried it myself, but I have watched a Beefus video, and I'm talking uh, about Beefus from the Mindcrack crew. <laughs> uh, if you watch, I, I'm not sure uh, which one is the episode, but I will try to find it and include it in the video description. And if you click it now, you will see that. Uh, Bifa actually implemented uh, the system from Unerbit, uh, which is amazing, and I think he likes it. Uh, finally, I want to talk about the AFK machine, uh, the AFK ice machine, sorry, uh, because this was the video uh, that made me subscribe to Unerbit, and this is uh, one of, uh, honestly, one of, the, one of the most amazing videos I have ever seen. Uh, the things that it can do for its size is, are really impressive. So all the efficiency and effort that he put into it, and it, it's just um, very, very impressive. Uh, also, uh, if you are more like me, you will enjoy very much his videos because he also includes music in the videos uh, and really good music i appreciate very much the kind of electronic music that he usually puts into his videos so yeah guys uh i really enjoy I'm, i am uh for real a subscriber of unary beat as i said for a long time now and i totally recommend his channel it's, it's high quality so please guys uh, have a look at his channel it's really easy to find unary beat and there is a link in the description of course so just click on it and visit his channel um, he, he, will, he will not uh, publish very frequently but I'm sure that you will be amazed every time he publishes a new video so that's it guys for uh, our donor and well that's it for the page because there is a, there are a lot of other stuff that we are going to see on the red cloud server dedicated to unary bit today so let's go back
so let's walk together it's nice time I hope that mobs will not spawn on the bridge also this arch is misplaced I will have to <laughs> tear this one apart and rebuild it somewhere else mm -hmm. and uh, let me explain you some stuff about the Let's Play series in the relation to the Infinite Bridge project, uh, especially if you are new to this channel. <laughs> Enderman, <laughs> they come here because they have uh, basically nowhere to be since there is water everywhere. Amen. And he, he's not teleporting because there is water and the bridge, and that's all he has. <laughs> All right, let's get back on track. Uh, the first thing that you guys should know is that not all of my episodes on the Red Cloud server are going to be about the Infinite Bridge project. I will just um, uh, keep going with the bridge as soon uh, as I get more donations. So this is it. And also about the donors, you guys, uh, some people uh, seem to be very excited with the possibilities and having fun with, uh, by, uh, by having their names here on signs and everything and they want their channels, uh, a shout out to their channels, but uh, before donating anything to me, uh, to this project, uh, you should uh, be sure that you have enough content for me to show so if you want a shout out I will check out your channel and yes you 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 have to to have things there to show otherwise what am I going to show also uh, make sure that your videos have uh, really good quality to be exposed so I'm I'm going to recommend your channel and bring people there so you you might want to have something really good with, with quality to show uh, otherwise <laughs> you know right um, uh, another important thing that's really really important um, I will never uh, uh, feature here a channel with offensive con content or with uh, any sort of copyright violations that I can uh, detect by myself so uh, please pay attention to that if you have any sort of uh, cursing video or anything that's offensive in some way please don't, don't donate to me I will not uh, be able to help you uh, also um, letting it clear that uh, for those uh, reasons like offensive content or uh, lack of content I might refuse your donation you might not be aware of it but uh, if you just donate to me and I cannot find a way to help you with the amount you donate like uh, two dollars are just a sign but other than that I, I can refuse your donation and in that case uh, it's a very simple process where I just have to click a button and uh, your money will be returned to you alright so no problem with that um, about the end of the project, some people are uh, asking me about the end of the project. All right, um, I will inform you guys um, when the project is about to end. So, for example, if I need, uh, uh, let's say, 200 blocks to end the bridge, I will just tell you guys so that might help in the end, and it also uh, let things clear. <laughs> And I found this island here, guys. <laughs> I, when I was that far, let me show you. Uh, when I was about... No, not exactly. When I was building this part of the bridge, maybe. Uh, this, this, those chunks were loading and I saw the, the island here. Of course, those trees were planted by me. Um, and I thought, oh, finally, I'm getting rid of the ocean because, as you can see, we have a huge ocean here, and this doesn't make anything easier to build. It's really hard to build on top of the ocean. Every time I felt from this, ah, I had to swim up. So, uh, yes, yeah, but this, oh man, but this was just one island, uh, it's a very small one, a very small piece of land. So. As you can see, we have more ocean on the other side. <laughs> yeah, so I have a basic setup here to produce. Uh, I produced a lot of uh, charcoal to feed the machine. There's nothing automated here. It's just hoppers and chests because 
I'm going to tear that down later and I, I just needed a bunch of stone to be converted here and I have more stone here it's not stone but cobblestone and a lot of wood because I was replanting and harvesting this wood from here because I need this kind of wood all right so let me get back up and we can keep talking about the details of the project look the sunset guys oh it's not the sunset <laughs> <laughs> is the morning <laughs> all right so uh, more detail let me see my list here I will inform you on oh, yes uh, people asked me also um, if I'm what happens if I get more money than I actually need well first of all uh, when I finally get the amount that I need for the computer I will remove the donation button so I uh, so you guys can make sure that I will never take anything more than I need I know that more people need help uh, <laughs> somewhere in the world so I'm just uh, taking what I really need and um, um, let me check check my list it's really yes my brain was lagging <laughs> So also, uh, if I get more than I need in the end, I will just uh, do what I did in the end of uh, the last year. I will just convert it into giveaways. So you guys get some free gifts from me because of that. And well, let me tell you about uh, also some uh, other not so nice details. I saw some complaints on the comments and people telling me oh i hate that youtubers ask for money and other uh, why don't you get a job and things like that well i would just give you a general answer here because more people might have uh, the same questions so well this information might be helpful first of all i don't uh, usually talk about personal things uh, i have uh, been posting videos on this channel for more than one year and i never annoy people with my personal stuff but well the reason why i don't get a job is because i already have two jobs i have a small uh, online company and the money i make from that i help myself and my family as well and my second job is um, uh, not not some it's actually something that I enjoy doing but it doesn't pay much and if I could have for example YouTube as a second secondary job it would be much better uh, because it uses it uses less hours from my week and well this, this would be pretty much awesome so before posting anything offensive to me in this respect uh, once again uh, yeah please think twice Maybe you are posting things like that because you don't know me, uh, but yes, I'm really trying uh, to be a, a decent person since I was born, I don't know, uh, and I don't want to fight those people or, yeah, or say any stupid things on YouTube just because people rage about me asking for money. I don't think that honestly anybody likes to uh, ask for money it's uh, it's really I don't I, I can't even find the word uh, it's it's bad that uh, a person has to do that but I really like this uh, what I'm doing now this channel and everything and that's why I started the donation process um, so if you guys have any doubts around uh, about it uh, feel free to ask but next time I will just uh, ask you guys to be a little bit more polite because some comments were really harsh uh, on, in that respect. Um, what else? Um, I think that for now all I have to tell you guys uh, are cool stuff about the game. <laughs> Alright, uh, I want to show you something cool. Uh, I think uh, I, I, I didn't finish this side of the bridge on purpose because I wanted to show you how it looks. I really like uh, the way it looks without the, the wood here. It feels like a seven wide bridge which is really really cool with the, uh, the wood here, it wooden logs, uh, it's a five wide. I don't know what do you guys think. 
maybe I should uh, redesign some sections, you know? For example, if uh, we are in a jungle, I can uh, change the theme uh, of the bridge and I don't know, do, do something related to the jungle or related to the desert. Not sure yet. Uh, maybe you guys can give me some opinions. And <laughs> I didn't want to talk about that, but do you guys have you guys noticed that all we have around is this giant blue ocean? <laughs> At some point, guys, I confess that I got uh, desperate because all I could see was water. Uh, actually, we we are going to need some of this wood. And I actually uh, I also made this uh, this helmet. It has uh, protection tree, aqua affinity, and breaking tree, and respiration tree. It was uh, only one enchantment get got me all this. I didn't use it. Uh, I didn't use any books. <laughs> so this was awesome and really necessary, guys, because. Uh, when I start placing blocks here and the server is lagging, many times uh, you will fall into the water. And well, let me show you uh, how how this goes. Uh, with this helmet, it's just awesome, guys. I can see really well what's uh, below the water, and it, I can even stay here for longer. Uh, and if I have to break blocks, I get time to to collect the blocks here sometimes because yes this the respiration is really great sorry guys i had to cut there because i was lagging so much in the ocean and i almost forgot to tell you i decided to break this episode in two different parts uh, because otherwise it was going to be way too long to watch and uh, in this first part we are going to see uh, mainly the bridge and all the work i've done around here and in the second part, we are going to see the stops for um, Lunar Beat because with the bridge <laughs> section of this size, uh, Lunar Beat deserves a really amazing um, stop. So I already, I already know what I am going to do, but I am just not going to reveal it for now because I want to keep it as a surprise, guys. And yeah, stay tuned because this is going to be really worth and I also want to show you something really amazing here. If you look ahead, <laughs> Unary Bit just gave us enough to get rid of the ocean. I'm, uh, for real, guys, I can't stand any more ocean. It's so hard to build. <laughs> and all you see is blue around. And finally, uh, with the next donations, we should be able to finally reach some land i don't know if this is real land if this is a continent or maybe it's an island uh, but anyways it, it looks really weird because uh, it's it's like a flat wall we can maybe go down there and if i take my boat please hop on the boat all right i'm going a little bit near there oh it's real terrain it's not an island, I think. Yes, we are not going any anywhere closer than that. We don't want to spoil. I haven't been there uh, too. I just uh, I just know that now we have land here, but I I really don't know what happened here. Maybe it's a chunk error, or maybe it's um, biome transition with things from 1.7 mixed with things from 1.6. I'm not sure, guys. Uh, all I know is that finally we are going to see some land. <laughs> so let me show you the bridge from this. Oops, I hate those those boats now. I like it so much the boats the way they were before. Mm. So as you can see on this side, I don't have the complete pi complete pillars pillars. <laughs> sorry. Uh, and this is because I was I use this as a walkway. So in the next part of this episode, we are going to see all the uh, the cool new stuff, and also I'm going to clean up the bridge, uh, knock uh, knock out those uh, dirty blocks here, finish the pillars, and take care of those details here, and maybe place some torches here because mobs will spawn here otherwise. Uh, on the lower portion of the bridge 
and let's just have a general look around the place and as you can see guys I had to use a really um, ridiculous amount of resources to complete this and a lot of time it, it took me uh, as expected really two real days to accomplish this with uh, the time that I have to play and uh, I, I sort of get the hang of it uh, like this huge huge donation from Unerbit was like training <laughs> like uh, yeah now go to the ocean and build it the hard way and yeah I sort of uh, found out a lot of um, shortcuts to build the bridge uh, in a faster way so I have to uh, add some stuff on the top here and there but uh, the most the hardest part is basically done guys and well as you can see it's a real huge ride <laughs> and I don't know what you guys think it's it's oh my <laughs> I, I look at it and I can't even believe that I made that in survival <laughs> and this is just the beginning guys this is just the first portion of our entire project so we are about to reach the land there guys I decided to go back to the end of the bridge so I could tease you a little bit more with uh, this uh, with this scene with this I made here because this, for me at least, it's really amazing to finally see a piece of land because, well, this was really really a, a huge amount of work, not just building but collecting resources and dealing with lag and things like that, so yes, I'm <laughs> really pleased that we are finally going to see some land there and I think that not just only me but we all have to, uh, if you are really into this project and you like my videos, we really have to say a big thanks to Unerbit uh, for taking us from that piece of land all the way through the ocean uh, and almost getting us to another piece of land so Unerbit man thank you very much uh, I want you to know that uh, we are not done with your project just yet I just needed a break because it was really really a lot of work and the episode would be also uh, too large if I wanted to show everything at once so in the next episode I'm going to show you the secret stuff that I'm saving <laughs> for for later and I think that you you will really like it it's it's going to be really nice so this is a half thank you <laughs> the entire the the full thank you is going to be on the second part of the unary beat section so just to tease you one more time guys uh, we can get there i just need your help to get there and in the next episode we are also going to mm, i'm not going to tell you <laughs> you will just have to wait so Please guys leave some feedback, some comments on what uh, you think of the project so far. Uh, I assure you that you are going to see some surprises along the way. It's not just me building a bridge, don't worry. And if you guys could please leave a like to help the video get some views because, well, <laughs> it was a lot of work. Uh, I'm trying to do my best here and I would appreciate some feedback from you guys so once again thank you very much for watching and see you next time on the second section